Ethanol alcohol, or as it's commonly known, ethanol, is a product which has been produced since ancient times. Originally, it was used as a component preparation of medicine and drinks, and later it was used in lamps. After the invention of automobile, the alternative use of ethanol as fuel was inevitably a big question. Each ethanol producing country has its own raw material for the production of ethanol. For example, in the United States it's corn, in Sweden it's wood, and so on. Sugarcane is the raw material of this fuel in Brazil. The Brazilian ethanol industry emerged as a natural consequence of production of sugar. The first attempt to use ethanol as a fuel in Brazil took place in the 20s. In 1925, the first ethanol-powered car was driven from Rio de Janeiro, São Paulo. After the depression of 29, the Brazilian sugar industry was gripped by serious crisis and the making of ethanol from the excess of super crops became an interest in alternative and the regulating component for the sector. President Getulio Vargas was a great enthusiast for the use of ethanol as a fuel. During his time in office, government policies encouraged the blend of ethanol with gasoline. Nonetheless, after 1945, the lack of state support and the pressure from economic interests behind oil exploration slowed growth in alcohol sector. In 1973, the Arab oil boycott caused many countries, including Brazil, to pay more and more for fossil fuel, creating a serious balance of payment deficit. But it was then, in the middle of world energy crisis, that Brazil innovated, making the most of great opportunity of the domestic sugarcane market by creating Pro Alcohol, Brazil's national ethanol program. From that moment, ethanol began to be produced for fuel on a large scale. In the first stage, ethanol was simply blended with gasoline, but later, from 1979 on, a large number of vehicles run exclusively on anhydrous ethanol. A number that at its peak reached 5 million. Nowadays, Brazil has about 60,000 sugarcane producers spread on an area of 5 million hectares and over 300 sugar and ethanol production units. Ethanol consumption in Brazil is equivalent to over 2,500 barrels of gasoline a day. In fact, Brazil consumes one-third of ethanol produced in the whole world, followed by United States of America in second and China in third place. There are two types of ethanol for fuel produced in Brazil. Hydrous ethanol, which is blended with gasoline, and anhydrous ethanol, which is used as a pure fuel. Brazil has a network of over 28,000 gas stations stuck anhydrous ethanol to meet the demand of alcohol-powered cars. And the gasoline which feeds the other Brazilian cars contains between 20 to 25 percent hydrous ethanol. In fact, in Brazil, there is no free ethanol gasoline for use. Now, let's take a look at how ethanol is produced. The transformation of sugarcane into ethanol takes place in sugarcane mill. It's a joint venture between the agricultural and the industrial sector. After the sugarcane has been cut manually, it will be weighed as soon as it's been delivered to the mills. This weighing permits agricultural control, the payment of transport, and the measurement of sucrose, which ultimately dictates the price. After the measurement, impurities such as earth and sand are extracted, and the sugarcane, which has been manually harvested, 
goes to cutters and cane shredders, where the stumps are prepared for milling, thus producing more sugarcane juice. From one side the juice, from the other side the bagasse. Each ton of processed cane creates between 240 and 280 kilos of bagasse, which can be used in other industrial departments. The juice extracted is then chemically treated and later purified using several processes and filtering techniques in order to create the mast. The mast is left to ferment to the time that varies from 4 to 12 hours. It's at this stage that the sugar becomes transformed into ethanol. At the end of the fermentation process, the mixture is called fermented wine. The ethanol from this wine is recovered using distillation. The process is then carried out in columns where the actual distillation and refining takes place giving birth to hydrous alcohol. This product can be marketed or can go through further process of dehydration to produce anhydrous ethanol. Once ready, these two types of ethanol are stored in large tanks until needed.